for now. I am a little late. It's already 6, 4 in the morning. The prayer starts 6. I'm already 4 minutes past that. Okay, found it. Got it. This is the one. This leads me to the ministry. You see, it's so beautiful. I've entered to the ministry as in I'm entering going through the staircase So I've reached somewhere up top, as you can see right behind me. Now I'm trying to find the exact spot where they do the worshipping, chanting. And I hope that it should be somewhere close to this place. Good to be back here after few years and feels really good to be here at this point of time because there's no one just me. So right behind me, you see, in this space of this monastery, this is where they do the chanting uh, and the prayer. And I think you can already hear that sound coming in because this is now where they're gonna start about seven. I thought at six because somebody told me it's six, but it's okay, no problem. So the puja has ended. It was really amazing. It was like for somewhere about an hour and 20 minutes, 80 minutes to be precise. So for now heading to the homestay, I want to eat something feeling hungry.
that monastery right behind me. That's Thikse Monastery. It's about 20 kilometers from Leh. That means I haven't reached Leh yet. Yes. Because traveling, I really got tired. And uh, when I reached this place, uh, I was first of all looking to find a spot to pitch my tent. But then I couldn't and I ended up here in this homestay which is beautiful i am telling you this is amazing i have had i had an amazing experience over here with the family really nice local food uh the local language the way people are the way they treat you it's amazing and on the top of it the view of thikse monastery from here it's amazing the rooms is really comfortable everything is like on point i can't really ask for anything else it's like super budget friendly and everything i'm again hitting the road for next 20 25 kilometers to reach leh and find a stay in leh been a really amazing experience over here let me show you around the homestay a little So, bidding goodbyes to the home. Say, Hanji. Hanji. Abhi le. Jili ji. Jili. Ji. Hanji. Bilkul. Apple khate hoye. <laughs> Julie. Okay, see. So this was really a lovely goodbye. Brought smile on my face. Everyone is really kind and happy natured here. Uh, and also they gave me this amazing apple look it so red in such a good shape i'm not sure that i have the strength to eat it because i'm like if i really like something i can't eat it i want to save it but yeah now i am back on the road walking towards le let's do it it's about 20 kilometers from here so won't take much time. Let's go. Back on road. Right by my side. This is the main entry gate for Tixi Monastery. And right behind me. Okay, right by my side is Tixi Monastery. <laughs> Some different kind of apple. Really good. Okay, I doubt. Either this is not an apple, either I've never had apple in my life. How can this be so soft? And how can this taste so different? Damn. Life is amazing, bro. Uh, this lady and this kid in this harsh sun they are climbing from that trail to the gompa damn it oh 
my god the people somewhere including me living in a city we are privileged we have cars ola uber and elevators escalators damn we don't even wanna walk on the ground in the airports i don't know what do they call there's these kind of escalator right where you just stand and they take you ahead oh my god and look at the life over here so much to learn and so much to grow loving it not that i haven't seen this earlier but experiencing it again moves me Everything is okay, but this summer is killing me, man. It's so hot in Leh. Can't believe that I'm in Himalayas. Wow. Spent quite a time at a cafe where I can find some internet so that I can search. for a place to stay What's up doggy? Ah. I managed to find a place called Ramek Homestay. Ah. Damn it. I believe I found it. It's right in the market. It does look decent. Let's go inside. and figure out how exactly it is i can't find anyone but the location is super amazing and as of from this place it does look good let's find out the caretaker of this place Hello ji and Julie. The trip from Manali to Ladakh has been an amazing experience for me. I didn't plan that how I'm going to do it. I had no idea. I was just living in Manali for really long and I was feeling some way stuck. I wanted to travel and obviously pandemic was holding us all back. And also that throughout the pandemic when I was living in a room, I was reading more and more about climate change and it was making me feel bad. Um that how are we going ahead and where are we going how it's going to end and i wanted to talk about climate change in whatever way i can and i decided why don't i do a trip where i can set up an example about sustainable tourism responsible tourism slow tourism whatever we call it because to tell you a fact tourism in india adds up to 6.8% to the gdp wherein it adds up 8% to the global greenhouse gas emission 8% it's a huge number there are several other industries and one single industry contributing 8% is a very big number and no doubt because when we are traveling when we are going to places let me say it we behave very irresponsibly we don't really take care of things we take flight wherever we feel like we take cars we buy food which we don't even eat we leave it on table we buy so much of uh, packaged food which comes in plastic packaging and we buy a lot of plastic bottles single use plastic bottles and we dump it here and there because it's not our home i'm just traveling to a place i can do whatever i want and i can go back to my home which i always keep neat and clean but hey zoom out a little bit This place is also your home. Why do you think that just the place you own is your home? The whole earth is your home. Isn't it? That's what I'm trying to communicate. 
that we need to travel more responsibly we need to be more aware about our consumption's impact on the overall ecosystem that what is our carbon footprint and how that carbon and methane footprint also is impacting the whole ecosystem how because of our consumption and emissions nature um innocent animals and other innocent living beings are suffering and if we really do that it can really help us all a lot believe it or not if you think that your life is good and you're not suffering in anything or in any way because of climate change you're wrong you are going through a lot of bad experiences in life and that is because of climate change the traffic uh the humidity the summer the rain the not good quality food the extra prices you are paying for electricity and lot of different things for fuel and it's not sustainable in long term so hence this whole trip was a message to all to travel in a sustainable way and experience the world in a better way more closer to the nature rather than running around taking selfies and calling it a trip why not to be with people experience uh, the time with them their life their food their culture uh, and learn from them how to live sustainably so that's all from my end i hope in future i'll be getting to hear from you guys that how you have gone through or you have gone on a sustainable trip how you are making your tourism or your travel experience sustainable i look forward to hearing from you that's all from my end i hope you enjoyed the whole series i look forward to coming with more such experiences for you all for now julie